Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet this pinwheel flower. It's very, very easy. It's super cute too. So it measures about four inches across, four inch diameter there. And this would be great to sew on, you know, like bags or anything like that. You could probably sew two together, slip stitch them together to make them even thicker if you wanted to. Um, and if you made them out of cotton yarn and make like a cool scrubby or you know whatever you want to do with them flowers are great for lots of things make blank sew on blankets and stuff like that whatever but so that's what they look like and like i said they're very easy to, to use so for these particular pinwheels i use i just use some regular uh four weight black yarn um it's 100 percent acrylic and then the multicolored yarn is um, from iceyarns.com. It is their Picasso yarn. Yeah, right here. Ice Yarns. And it is, it's a four weight brand. That's the brand. It's called Picasso. Or the variety is called Picasso. It's an acrylic polyester blend, medium weight number four. And it's the rainbow color one. Now, you don't need much yarn for either flower. I'm going to show you, but I'm not going to use black. I'm going to use some random scrap yarn for the center, and then I'll use the, the uh, Picasso for the flower part because the black will be hard to see on camera. And for this particular tutorial, I'm using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. You can use, uh, you can make these like in any size yarn you wanted. Just use a recommended needle on whatever uh, the yarn suggests. Just remember, if you use a smaller weight yarn, you'll get a smaller flower. If you use a bigger weight, you'll get a bigger flower. All right, so we'll go ahead and start. So this was the black part of my flower, but like I said, you won't be able to see the black on camera. So I'm going to set it to the side. And we're going to go ahead and start off with a slip knot on our hook. Now, I'm going to chain four. If you want to use the magic circle here, you can do that. But I'm going to chain four. And then I'm going to slip stitch into my first stitch to form my ring. So I use my middle finger there and put it between the chain and the hook. And then I slip stitch like that. Helps me keep that ring open. Now I'm going to chain three, which is going to act as a double crochet. What I want to do is put 10 more double crochets through the center of the ring. So counting this chain three, we'll have a total of 11 double crochets. So I'm gonna yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, and then you just do your double crochet like normal. So counting that chain three, we now have two, and we want a total of 11. Three, four, there's five, all right, so I have my 11 double crochets, counting that chain three as one. You have a total of 11. You can usually pull your tail there, and it should close up that circle a little bit more. If not, you can sew it together at the end. Now we're going to go ahead and end this round by slip stitching into the top of our beginning chain three. Like that. And I'll end round one, and you'll have 11 double crochets there. Okay, now we're going to do round two. We're going to chain three again, which counts as a double crochet. And then we're going to go back into the same spot here that we just slip stitched into. And we're going to work another double crochet into that spot. So counting that chain three, you have two double crochets in that spot. So we're going to work around. We're going to put two double crochets in every stitch. So this one right here is sometimes hard to see. It gets kind of mushed in. Make sure you get this one right here and go into it and you work two double crochets into that one. So there's one into the same stitch. There's two. And then we move to the next one and we work two double crochets. So there's one. And there's two. And then we move to the next one and we work two doubles into the same stitch. So round two is just two double crochets into every stitch until you make it back around to your starting point. All 
All right, so when you make it back around to the end of round two, you should have 22 stitches. And we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching here into the top of the beginning chain three. And then we're gonna switch colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it through and then pull it through again. I'm gonna clip that off. Go. There we go. Okay, now we can bring in whatever color you're using next. I'm gonna use this rainbow color because this is so pretty. All right. Let me cut these tails a little bit shorter here so they're not in the way. Okay, now you can start this yarn in anywhere that you want, but we're gonna be working between the stitches and not on top of them. So just go in between any two or any any two double crochets right in between like that and pull your yarn through like that and then we're gonna chain one now we're gonna go back into that same spot and we're gonna work a single crochet like that and then we're gonna chain four one two three four now we're gonna skip two doubles skip skip and we're gonna work in between the next two and single crochet. So now we're making the chain spaces to where we'll put our petals, like that. Again, we're gonna chain four, one, two, three, four, skip two, skip, skip, and work in between the stitches. Go right in between them and single crochet. And this is what we're gonna do all the way around. Chain four, one, two, three, four, skip two, skip, skip, and in between, single crochet. So when you look closely, there we go, you can see there's two double crochets kind of in between each of the chain spaces. So I'm gonna repeat this all the way around, chain in four, skipping two doubles and going in between the next ones and single crocheting until I make it back around to my starting point. Just like that. All right, I'm coming to the end and you can see I just single crocheted in this last spot and here's where we started and we have two stitches there. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain four and I'm going to end, this would be round three is what we're on, by slip stitching into our first single crochet that we made. And you should have 11 chain four spaces. Like that. Now we're going to do round four. One, two, yes, this is round three. Round four is going to be where we do the petals. It's also, also the final round. So we're gonna slip stitch into this first chain space right here. Okay. Now we are going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. Now we're gonna work five double crochets into this chain space. So there's one, two, three, four, and there's five. Now we're gonna work a stitch, which sounds hard, but it's not hard. We're going to do a drop, double, triple, front post stitch. So a, it's, it's a double, triple, front post, but we're gonna drop it down, all right? So we're gonna drop it down to row one. So, I, I don't know, it's not hard, trust me. So we're gonna wrap three times one two and three the only important thing about this is not to let your wraps get too far back on your hook try to keep them up close if you can and we're going to drop all the way down you see this right here you want to this stitch right here you want to just go all the way down to the one that is right below what this one right here Go around the post 
like that. And then I always pinch it because it's easier that way. And then we're going to draw up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops. And yarn over and go through the remaining two. So we did that four times. And that is a, a front post uh, drop double triple crochet there you go front post drop double double triple crochet <laughs> it's, it's easy it's, it's very easy all right let's go on now we're going to jump to our next chain space once you get it down it's super easy we're going to do five double crochets again into the next chain space one two three four, five. Now we're going to do our uh, drop uh, double triple and it's going to go into the next stitch here on uh, row one. So we're going to yarn over one, two, three times on your hook and go around the post of the next stitch of row one. So the one right next to the one you just did but you'll work in half. It's easier that way to keep grip. Draw up a loop, yarn over and draw up a loop, and then we yarn over and go through the first two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops, and yarn over and go through the remaining two. There we go. See that? Easy, easy. You can do it. All right, let's we're just going to keep repeating that. So let's go to our next chain four space and work five double crochets in it. There's one, two, three, four, five. I know this stitch looks a little intimidating, but it's not. Even if you have to practice it a couple times, you'll be able to do it. It's real, it's real easy. So remember, yarn over three times. One, two, three. Keep those loops a little bit close up to the front of the hook. Go down to the very next stitch on the row one. So here's the one we just worked. So we're going to go around the next one. Front post style like that. Take your work. Grab it. Fold it in half. Grab the yarn and pull it around the post like that. Now it's important to keep your loops up close so you don't have a real loose stitch. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops, and then yarn over and go through the remaining two. Just like that. See that? All right, let's repeat it again. Five double crochets into the next chain four space. There's one, two, three, four, five. And let's do that drop stitch again one more time yarn over three times one two three drop all the way down to row one to the next stitch and go around the stitch like front post style like that fold your work in half yarn over and draw up a loop and then we yarn over and go through the first two loops yarn over go through the next two loops yarn over go through the next two loops and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops See that? That's easy, easy peasy. Don't give up. You keep practicing, you'll get that stitch down and it'd be super easy. So I'm gonna repeat this pattern all the way around and I'll meet back up with you here at the beginning. And remember, five double crochets and then we do that um, drop double triple all the way around. All right, so I have made it all the way back around. You can see I just did my drop stitch here into the very last stitch. Here's the first one we did. Here's the last one I just did. Now we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet here of our group of five. And then I am going to clip that yarn. And I'm going to pull it out. And then we can hide this tail neatly. As neatly as possible. 
I always go back through that same stitch with my needle like that and just kind of neatly weave it in in the back and then you can hide any remaining tails that you have That's it. Adorable. Adorbs, adorbs. I like it a lot. I think it's cute. So that's what it looks like. I definitely like it with the black better, but it's super pretty. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you were able to follow along. If you make these, please show me a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page or on Instagram, whether you just make them for fun or if you make them to put them on something, show me what you're using them for, all right? There's links to that stuff below in the description box. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and give me a comment below. That always helps me out. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Bye.